The Adventures of Doctor Who's Late Cousin, Dr. Tardy. Episode 1. Epigenetics, Organizations, and DNA. Epi who? I know, I know. Episode. No, no, no. Epigenetics. Who are you? I am not who. I am Dr. Tardy, Dr. Who's cousin, the forecaster of the future of management. I am the -the out-of-the-box organizational guy, your direct link to the future of organizations. And what in the universe is epigenetics? Epigenetics is the study of how human genes express themselves with the environment. Come with me and learn about the future of management. Sounds dangerous. Less risky than listening to consultants. Are there still consultants in the future? I am afraid so, but there are also lawyers. That is sad and probably really expensive. It is sad and very expensive, but there is good news about how organizations are run in the future. Organizations that run well? Perhaps, but definitely ways to run them better. And who might you two be? I'm Jean. I'm Jean. Jean! And Jean! What are you? We are your DNA. We are your destiny. Well, science says otherwise. We are all powerful. We dictate your future. Um, you have a lot to learn. You are simply part of the team. Come with me to learn and see the future. How can you say we have no power? Um, I didn't say you have no power. I said you are part of a team. But we control the team, right? We determine what people do. Actually, scientists, neuroscientists, found that the environment is in charge. It switches you on and off. I don't understand. Oh. Oh. All these years believing I was something I wasn't. I am going through the stages of grief. All those lost years. Of course you are sad. Your whole world just changed. I don't want to accept that we're not in charge. His worldview already is changing, and so he feels differently. Come on in. It is not big enough to walk into. So when we walk in, will we feel differently? Of course I will feel differently. I will be squeezed, uncomfortable, and hot. Enter into my world, and you will understand. Welcome. Wow, this is awesome. Awesome? I thought you were grieving. That was before I saw this great tech. So you feel differently. Huh, it is not so bad. I do. I can't wait to explore. So why do you feel differently? Uh Uh-oh, we changed environments. So this is what you mean? Yes, you changed environments and your emotions and body responses change to match. This environment makes you feel comfortable. That's epigenetics at work. Your senses told you the world around you was different. Really different. Then your senses signaled your brain that the environment was different. Okay. Your brain understood and signaled the rest of your body using neurohormonal chemicals. Oh! The chemicals, like GABA, signaled your genes to switch to slower breathing, less sweating, and you feel better in this environment. And we got the message, so we changed. Yes, you changed as your environment changed. What does this have to do with organizations? Who knows? Who doesn't know about this? But I know. Organizations have many different environments. Like manufacturing, accounting, or HR. Or Dublin, Singapore, or Sao Paulo. Yes, leaders need to create environments that help both the organization and the people thrive. Environments that get people working together like all the cells within humans. Which means everyone needs to think and contribute. Yes, you are learning how it is. Each of these environments tell people how to behave. So you need an environmental whisperer to understand them. 
No, no. Go back to human epigenetics. People can sense or read their environment to know how best to behave. The organization is a living system. It also senses the environment. My organization has no sense at all. Probably, but all organizations, sensical or not, translate messages from the environment into their equivalent of neurohormonal chemicals. You mean things that humans can feel, such as credibility, trust, experiences, rewards, engagement, and meaning? Exactly! Leaders throughout the organization drive these human feelings via the climate, culture, and leadership style. Sounds like a tough job. Sad to say, you're right. However, good leaders change the organizational DNA to support and reinforce the new climate. Oh, so that is how organizations change. Yes, it is. So the organization's DNA interacts with people's DNA to make them feel good or bad about the workplace. Yes, as well as many other emotions. You keep using feel rather than motivate or perform. I do, and I have much more I want to tell you, but we are out of time. How about a pithy ending? Change is all about the environment, feelings, and behavior. I get it. That was pithy? For a consultant, not bad. And of course, there is more. Oh good, another episode. Hopefully it will be pithy. Or at least have no consultants. And now for a paid promotion by our sponsors, who are consultants but not lawyers.